Hi student, in this video we'll be talking about the calibration of thermometer. So you might be wondering what is calibration of thermometer. Calibration of thermometer actually means when you are marking up the scale for a new thermometer. So first of all, in this process you will need to find two lengths of the fixed points. So what are the fixed points? They are your ice point and steam point, or we call them as upper and lower fixed point. So Upper fixed point or the steam point will be 100 degrees Celsius, lower fixed point will be 0 degrees Celsius. So, how do we get the fixed point? For steam point, you will need to get the steam from the boiling water and it must be 100 degrees Celsius. So, you have to set up like the one that I've drawn in the video. And remember, you don't take the boiling water, you take the steam from the boiling water. Okay, and next, when we talk about the pure melting ice it means that we are taking the lower fixed point so remember you need to put the thermometer inside the a beaker of ice and they must be pure ice it means that they must be getting from the pure water okay not salt water or sea water after we have taken the length of the thermometer when it is at pure melting ice and steam from boiling water now we need to go to the calculation part so we have to memorize this formula where your theta equals to L theta minus L0 over L100 minus L0 times 100 degrees Celsius. So what is theta? Theta is the temperature which other than 0 and 100 degrees Celsius. Any temperature also can. And then the L means the length of theta, length of 0 degrees Celsius and length of 100 degrees. So let's check example at the bottom there. So sometimes they might give you a graph. So in this graph, they show 25 cm is 100 degree, 15 is unknown, 5 is 0. So you're going to find the 15 cm. So how are you going to find? So you just fill in every single details into the formula. So from this formula, you can check. Okay, so what you're going to write is 15 minus 5 over 25 minus 5 times 100 degrees Celsius. And at the end, you get 10 over 20 times 100 degrees Celsius, which means you get final answer is yes, 50 degrees Celsius. So remember, the formula is very important in every single question like this. Leave a comment below to let me know if you have any questions.